Hello, stamping friends. It's Jackie Balhais from Comp and Stampers. Today, we're going to make celebration cards, and they're going to be quick and easy. Celebration cards can cover a whole host of things, whether it's a birthday, a baby, a graduation, a promotion. The ideas are endless, and I'm all about quick and easy. So we are using a method I call the SIP stamping method. SIP stands for stamps, ink and paper. S for stamps, I for ink, P for paper. That's really all that you need to make quick and easy cards that will truly bless your family and friends because you made it. We're also going to talk a little bit about cleaning stamps today. I usually do that off camera, but today we're going to do it on camera so that I can show you and give you a couple of tips. Alrighty, let's flip the camera down and let's get stamping. The stamp set that we're using today is called Beautiful Balloons. And I love this because typically we think of it for birthday, but like I said, we're calling this a celebration card ideas. So we're gonna focus on making cards for any type of celebration. Now, I am using the note cards and envelopes, one of my favorite things to use, especially for quick and easy cards, because they come in a pack of 20, you get the envelopes, you get the cards, you're just ready to start stamping. Now I've got several ink pads open here and quite a few of those stamps on my blocks already. Cause like I said, we're gonna just show how quick and easy we can make a card. So let's start, we have seafoam green and we're gonna just stamp it right there like so. And because this is just a celebration, we are gonna grab a couple different words here. We're, these are all part of that same stamp set. So on our balloon, we're gonna stamp, you did it. And then, this is kind of my favorite one because it curves right around the top of that balloon. So let's get our celebration on. Well, we need more than one balloon. So let's go ahead and take the smaller balloon. We're gonna overlap just a little bit there. So there's our bubble bath pink one. Now this is where we're going to push the stuff aside a little bit and talk about cleaning our stamps. My favorite way to clean is using the stamp and chamois or simple chamois. I guess simply chamois. Yeah, let's get the words right. Now this one's clean. I just was cleaning it under my sink. Now I want to show you when you first get them, they come packaged. They're nice and pretty and clean. Well, as you start using them, they're going to stain. They'll never look like that again, but I know this one's well used. This one's even probably more well used. Well, on one side, I like to use both sides of them. Now you can see how dried up and it's even hard. When I'm not gonna use them for quite a while, I leave them out on my desk and they just dry up. And I mean, it's hard. So this one was like that a few minutes ago. So I take it up to my sink and I just run water on it and water on it and water. I just hold it or lay it in the sink and let the water come on it. And it will eventually soak up enough water to get all soft and pliable. And then all I do is take it and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze, squeeze as much out. This is just damp. I mean, you're not seeing my hands get wet at all. And as you're doing that, um, if it's super dirty, you'll see that ink color run off of it. So as you're running it under water and squeezing it and you see ink, keep going. Water, squeeze, water, squeeze until that water is running nice and clear. And now it's ready to clean your stamp. So all I'm gonna do is rub my stamp on it. Now notice I have it in a stamp case. I stamp a lot. So unless I know I'm not gonna stamp for several days, when I'm done here, I keep it in here. It will keep it moist and I won't have to run upstairs and get it wet all the time unless it gets too dirty on me. Now, if I know I'm not going to stamp for several days, then I do leave it set out and dry out. Um, depending on your climate, it could get a little bit moldy, you know, if you left it in here forever and ever. Um, so it depends if, when I'm going to stamp. But all I got to do is put my stamp on there and now we're nice and clean and I can go ahead and we're going to use... Oh, what's the name of this one? Um, Lemon Lolly. Some of these newer colors, I still can never remember the name. And we're gonna stamp that right up at the top. And you can see I cleaned the pink off. We're good to go. Now let's come to our black once again. And this has this nice little string. And what's fun about this is you can go this way or you can flip it so that you can kind of get a little bit different looks. And you know, not all strings are the same, right? Oh, make sure I get enough on there. There is that one. And then we're going to just take a few of the little, we'll call them conf confetti pieces. 
because we want to just fill in you know you don't need too many don't overkill it so we did the bubble bath with that and then here's a few other i don't know if they're confettis or speckles um, just stick a few of those in there like so and then there's the front of our card now we always want to make sure we stamp the insides of our card too right so we'll make this one let's see what do we have let's get your celebration on we'll take one more of the stamp sets or stamps so we're using three different greetings it's time for a celebration so let's go ahead and put a couple balloons we'll do the yellow but now we gotta clean off there and then let's do one of the green ones in here as well um soft sea foam and then let's put a string and a string and then let's see we'll put just a couple little confettis and a couple of the other little confetti things there we go so quick and easy there is our card now we're going to make one other one because i want to show you how you can step up this card just a teeny tiny bit so rather than stamping right onto that note card and envelope i like to recommend that you also buy a package of black and a back package of white black goes with absolutely everything you don't need like all the different colors of cardstock for quick and easy stamping but by just layering a little bit and then onto our note card it's really going to change kind of the way this whole card looks so let's go ahead and since we already have the soft sea foam on here i don't think i cleaned it off let's start with one of those and then we're going to come in we're going to clean our stamp with that one and let's see let's add some of the yellow i love that yellow that was such a good new yellow that came out this year and then we'll put some of the soft sea foam let's bring that one way up there so we just have like a bunch of balloons um put some strings on them let's flip it and flip it like so and then this time we're gonna just put it's time for a celebration right on top of the balloons because now this could be a birthday card a graduation card um job promotion you know this is where it's just it's endless so we can go ahead put some adhesive on the back we're going to just layer it um, the measurements for this white and this black will be over on my website down in the video description i always put a link to a blog post that's on my website and that will give pictures of the cards i'm making for you today as well as list all the measurements and the supplies so if you don't remember the colors i use or the products i use you can find them all right over there um, forgot to put some of these little guys in there let's still stick some of those in there there we go it's time for a celebration now again we always got to make our insides pretty so let's go ahead and I don't remember what color I used here, so we're gonna clean it to be safe. And let's do a bubble gum. Love that pink, nice, nice, nice pink. And then let's do the lemon lolly. And let's see, I don't think I have all of my words out here. So let's just go ahead and make this. You did it. And two. You guys, I have so many stamps. They're all just kind of laying here. I'm like, which one is which? And we'll put that one on there. And there we go. And you can see the difference how just adding that layer of white and that layer of black just kind of makes things pop a little bit. Um, you can see here, I have a couple other ones I made. This one's pretty much the same layout as that, but I did the same thing just by layering it on there. And then what's this the celebration one so there same thing i didn't you know this one i didn't layer which is perfectly okay um, but you can just see the difference how it steps it up 
just a little bit. So there you go, quick and easy celebration cards. So I hope you like the tips I shared today in these cards. Remember, use the link in the video description to go to the blog post. You'll see the products, the colors, the stamps, and all the measurements for these cards if you'd like to make them as well. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and share this video with your crafty friends. And when you're over on the website, make sure to sign up for my newsletter because I send out stamping ideas every single week via newsletter, via email email newsletter um, that share more stamping ideas that I don't share on video here. So thanks for watching and we'll be stamping again real soon. Have a stamp happy day.